thank you for tuning in and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I've decided to give you guys a glimpse into my fall 2020 decor. I may also throw in there some decorative tips that I learned from Joanna and clips on what I did for my living room. I am so excited about this decor and I hope you guys like it as much as I did. And I know, I know this is Miami and we have no fall whatsoever and it's November and it's already Christmas for most of y'all, but we're still in fall. So I believe I'm in my right to continue fall decor. Disclaimer, I don't blame you for celebrating Christmas right now because I am also in the mood for Christmas. This weather, whoa, it's super chilly, super windy, and I just, I have great expectations for this winter. So since it's technically not winter yet, I will continue with fall. And with all of this said, and without further ado, let's get right into the tour. So to make a fall wreath like the one you just saw in my front door, you always want to incorporate some type of burlap. It could either be in a bow, or a piece going all around, or both, because why not, am I right? Make sure to always have fall colors like orange, green, mustard yellow, and even maroon or some type of brown. You can add flowers, leaves, pumpkins, acorns, or anything fall-like that you may want in a wreath. Always remember to keep a balance. around and choose different shades to give your decor another feel but regardless these colors are essential to fall decorations and thus fall wreath In this specific part, I decided to add some pumpkins and burlap to my heart and hand garland in order to tie it in with the decor in the bookshelf. Now some design tip that I learned from Joanna when decorating bookshelves was to position things in diagonals. Got books and glass for example, and putting this diagonally creates a sense of balance all throughout the bookshelf. And here it is, the wall arrangement from the last video. And yes, this is where I feel.
all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys liked it and enjoyed it. And if you did, give a thumbs up and see you back here next time.